we have a legend in the house. We have, uh, 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 we have an athlete that epitomizes a lot of excellencies. Uh, uh, you, 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 you want to talk to somebody and you want to get inspired. You want to look back from uh, a, 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 an athlete that moved from the junior rank to the upper rank and achieved in all those, in a, 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 as, as she progressed upwards, she was doing it the way it should be done. Uh, we are privileged to have with us. She. Uh, let us look at it. She was a world junior champion, a world champion in the junior category. She was, she was the national champion. She was the all-African champion. She was a Commonwealth gold medalist. She was a silver medalist at the Olympics. No matter how you want to think about it, she is, she is, she has excelled in all those areas. And today she has moved it up there. She has started nurturing athletes. She has started training. She has started getting the best from all of them. So, and... Surprisingly, haven't been doing it right there in America. They said, home calls, duty calls. They said, charity, they say, begins at home. And we are privileged to go straight to California and let us meet our, you know, our guest for today, Fatima Yusuf Olukoju. Hello, Fatima. Hello. Thanks for having me. Good afternoon, Nigerians. Uh, and it's super early here. Thanks yeah. for having me, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah, and it is it is morning. It is morning in California, right? It is morning. What is the time now right. in California? It's about about, about, about four twenty-five here. About four twenty-five p.m. in California. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Fatima, the, the news break last week uh, uh, that you know you are now the chairperson of Kogi State Athletics Association. Ah, uh, uh, you are in America. You know how how did this come about? And then so so let us can you just let us understand how this came about? Well, again, I want to thank you for having me. Um, I'm from Kogi, and when call upon any time, I will always say yes to whoever the person is. And uh, just like I was called upon back in my days to come around in Nigeria, I I, I will travel to compete. My state is in dire need of structure system that works, that will help our youth excel, both physically and whoever um, uh, able to make it to the highest level, like I did. So, um, so be it. So when called upon, I couldn't say no. And um, I'm, I'm glad for this appointment and I'm ready to work. I'm ready to, to team up with like-minded people to take, my, to take the sports in my state to the next level. Okay, uh, okay, but you, you, did, you didn't start from there. Uh, you, you started some, you, know, uh, you, you started from right there at the juniors. And uh, there's something curious about your story. There's something personal and inspiring about your story. Uh, uh, this whole thing started somewhere in Ondo. How did it start? Briefly let us understand, you know, what, how, how athletics got into you or how you got into athletics. Absolutely. I mean, how can I forget where I started from when it comes to talking about where I've been and coming from? I was born and raised in Nundu State and um, from a very, very, very poor family. And um, there was no way out. So I, during the inter-house school sport, I, I did the sprints and uh, a coach saw me and invited me to Undo State um, Camp. And from there, I went to River City H Festival. And again, that's where uh, I made it to the semifinal at that River City H um, 400 meters. And uh, from there, I was invited to, um, to national camp. I would call it like a, a, a talent ID, I would say, because I didn't run fast time during the festival. And from there, I, I was nurtured by, by coaches and cared for by our great system then. And that's how I started from, that's how I started. Again, a little bit of my background. I, like I said, I came from a very poor family. I was set up with an arranged marriage. I wanted out. So sports was my way out. And uh, parents, I mean, um, youth who are doing sports, they normally get an encouragement from their parents, no. In my case, I was running away from my parents because I didn't want to get married at that young age. So my story is a little bit different. You are, you are, you are talking about an 11-year-old child or so 
uh, and then you, I mean, I don't understand. Your parents wanted to get married at the age of 11. You, 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 don't, you don't have siblings or whatever. Can you explain that? Um, do a little bit of clarification for us there. Yeah, but from where I'm from, my parents, they are not educated. They can't read or write. They say, no, my mom get married at a very young age. It's where they're from, it's, it's normal. By, by the age of 11, as a girl, once you start having boobs, then they started picking your husband for you and then wait until you mature a little bit, maybe at 15 or 16, which was almost around the age I was then that, that I had to do something. And then um, the school, I participated in the school sports who ultimately took me away to go to Undo State um, Camp and then National Camp. You said something I've been uh, 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 the next in line. Uh, uh, when it come to that, you know, uh, uh, getting married. What, 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 what do you mean by that? Next in line. Yes, I have a, I have a, an older sister. She's two years older than me. Very smart, 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 smart young lady. And uh, she, she get married right, right in my eye. There's no reason for her not to further her education. But my parents uh, marry her off. I believe my sister was 17 years old when. Um, 16 or 17 years old when she got married and, and it was shipped off to her uh, husband's house. I was next in line because I was the next female child. That's what I meant. I was next in line. Okay. Uh, 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 athletics took you out of all this and uh, a new vista opened for you. Uh, uh, then you went into, into, in, into camp. You, when you, at what point did you uh, uh, continue, uh, uh, left Nigeria and went to the, to the U.S.? Um, I left Nigeria in 1993 to come to USA, and um, I've been here since. I went to college. It's not easy, <laughs> given my background. So I went to college here at Azusa Pacific University, and I, I graduated, and yeah, I came here in 1993. Okay, uh, and, and then uh, uh, college sports in America. You, you, you said there was a, good, you know, a great system while you were here as a junior. Uh, uh, what, 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 what did, what, what did, when you go, got to America, was there much different between what we're having here and what, you know, uh, uh, you now met right there in America? Well, back in my days, um, what we have then is similar to what we have here in America, which is the school sports. Right now, for the past, I don't know how far back, there is no school sports anymore. There is no talent ID anymore. There is no, no such thing. But here in America, they still have that. They didn't go anywhere. They have actually they enhanced their talent ID, talent ID program through um, uh, from age five to thirteen or fourteen. When before they hit high school, they have clubs. They compete it's like they have their own season. So learning at a very young age, the foundation of all sports. You know, foundation of all sports is running. You can't take running in, in, to take running out of out of sport out of any sport. Yeah, track is the queen and king of sport. So once they, they get those foundations, and then from from there doing PE at school, and and doing the club at a young age. When they, by the time they get to high school, they already have some kind of foundation to build upon. Right now we don't have that in Nigeria. I don't even know if we have PE anymore in Nigeria, and there is no school sport. By the time these athletes get to semi-national stage, they're already in their 20s. What, how, how can you teach? I mean, they've missed so much. Okay. Now, uh, uh, after Atlexis, you decided to go into uh, a lot of things, fitness, coaching, and all that. How did this prepare you for the assignment that you, you know, uh, you've decided to take on now? And how do you, how do you think that can help in, uh, uh, in achieving whatever objectives you set out for yourself and your team? Absolutely. I'm not bragging here. I've been there and done it. So I know how it's done. And I was taught by great coaches, great mentors, great administrators. I'm not going to go into naming all of, the, all of their names. They know who they are and I know who they are. I have the background. I was an athlete, a young athlete. How did I survive? I did. And I made it to the, to the, to the highest level, which is the Olympics. So yes, I have the athletic background. I also, I also have the coach's background. 
just because you competed in, at the highest level doesn't make you a great coach. I went to school to educate myself. So I'm a coach here. And I, I also have a, uh, a youth club, so that makes me an administrator. So I, 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 I have the recipe. I know how to run a program. Okay. I know how to nurture athletes. So it is that knowledge that I'm, I will bring to my state to be who is in dire need of, of a system that will work for their youth. Okay. Uh, 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 you, you, you've, you've been quite busy. I, I will give that to you, uh, Fatima. You've, you've been very, very busy. Uh, uh, you, 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 you study social works, uh, uh, nutrition, coaching, fitness, and all this. But then how, you know, uh, looking at the, the terrain that you want to enter into in Kogi, where, where, where do you want to, how do you, uh, uh, I, I'm looking at it, how do you think you can effectively, you know, identify and nurture, especially talking about the school system, uh, where you say it is non-existent, where there are, you just have PE coaches that probably who are not trained, and they say, oh, you run sometime, come and be a, how are you going to have qualified coaches to be, a, in, are you going to do that? Is there going to be a, a program to select and train, and then second them to schools or whatever? Can you just give us a brief of how you think that you are going to do this? Because I know you are, and also, the challenge will be in America. And will you be coming, will you be running it from U.S. or how? Absolutely, yes. Um, the, the, the last part of your, <laughs> of your list is kind of a little funny to me because when I represented Nigeria, I was living in America. I would always travel home to do the tryout, to do the tryout and then make the team. So I've been called upon. I will make some trips to Nigeria. Mind you, this is not a paid job. This is not a paid job. I'm not getting paid from Kogi for doing this, but I can get it done. All it would take is for me to be in Nigeria once or twice a year. Once you have a system, you have a trained team, everybody knows what they're doing at what time. It works similarly. I mean, thanks for technology. Look at you and I are talking right now. Exactly. Right? I, I, didn't <laughs> yeah. have, I didn't have trouble. <laughs> uh, my brother. <laughs> I, I didn't have the trouble yeah. facing you for you to okay. be okay. you with, with Exactly. Stuff. So, I mean, I, I'm a fitness trainer. I, I, all my clients don't, don't live where I live. They're like another country, and I must be able to work with them. Okay. So the first thing I would do is we have to have a qualified coaches because we want awesome coaches who knows what they're doing to help I, do this talent identification. They have to go through the coaching system. And Nigeria has a coaching system. And I was told that because of the COVID-19, they are holding off on that. As soon as it opens, we're going to be sending our Kogi coaches there for the education. And also, we, I, we, we, I have to partner with the Department of, of, uh, of Education in Kogi. We need them. We have to partner with a lot of people. We have to revise their curriculum in PE. We have to educate those PE teachers because they're going to be, our, they're going to be a huge help to us. Because they see those kids at a very young age. It would be awesome for them to know what to do when they see an, a talent come through. Okay. So, um, go on. And you want to add something? So, yes. And also, like I said, if we're yeah. going to partner with a lot of people. The Department of Health. Yeah. They're going to help us out. Because if a child, a child comes through us, we want to know all the background about this child. And then with the hope of the parent for them to support us. That's how we, 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 we talent ID and, 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 and nurture them. Okay. Uh, in, in, in which case, you are not talking about uh, 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 collaborating with uh, the Ministry of Sports, the Ministry of Education, and the Ministry of Health. Uh, uh, so yeah. how, you, yeah, uh, what kind of, what assurances were you giving uh, uh, why it will be that you know this will be cooperate with you that there will there will be an enabling environment for you to function and carry out this the, 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 uh, this particular dream of yours. I believe um, they need to see the honesty, the sincerity in my in my on my part, and me being a, being an, an example, my background, where I came from, how the educational system helped me through school sports. So it's a partnership. Once they see that when they contribute, it will take a, a, a whole village to raise a child. I believe that they, they will be willing to partner with us. 
you were you were able to you were able to raise uh, 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 funds in America in running in running in running your club, you know, I, because this person trusts you. How in, in in Nigeria? How do you think you can get the private sponsors to put money into your dreams? Absolutely, it's going to be a tough job. Am I going to say because it's hard, it's dirty? I'm not going to do it. Absolutely, I love challenges. We have a lot of reputation to repair. We need to revive our reputation. It has, da it has damaged our sports. And um, this is a new phase. Accountability, transparency. Any, any good business-minded people, once you show them responsibility, accountability, transparency, they will be on board. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. They're just going to write a check for me. No, it's not going to be easy. But I have to persuade and convince them and show them the work. I have to show them where their money goes. I have to show them check and balances. I have to show them my checkbook. We have to rebuild trust. Right now, we don't have, we don't have trust in our, in, in our private sector. So we have a lot of damage control to do. Okay, uh, uh, let me, let me, uh, uh, we started personal, let us look at how we can run this all personal. Uh, I, the, you, you have this very young man as your husband. Uh, I, 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 I suppose he also represented Nigeria. And then you also have uh, a family, uh, the, you know, um, Fatima, you know, and then, you know, the, you, your, your husband and the kids. Are we having a sport, a, a, a sprint team, or a track, a track and field family here? Absolutely. You know, I, I did track. My husband did track. It's like a, <laughs> a fit chemical. It's like a fit puzzle <laughs> when it comes to our kids. And uh, my husband did short foot and discuss back in the days, and he, he went to the highest uh, competition of the Olympics. Yes, we have four kids. Two are in university and two are in high school. And um, they, they participate in the sports. They did, they did it all. They play tennis, they play um, basketball, and uh, their main event mm -hmm. is track and field. And we're, we're going to nurture them and support them. All right. I, I, would have, I wanted to ask you about uh, uh, how you survive racism and color in America, Barrea. But then just take a second and let, let us, because we are, uh, so that we can end the conversation. I didn't hear you. I said, what did okay, you say? I, I just said that, like, you know, how uh, do they survive any sort of racism or discrimination while they're in the U.S. and just briefly so that we can end this conversation? No, uh, I was welcome here. I, I, I love this country. This is the land of the free. America is the country you will come with nothing and become somebody. Okay. I have nothing negative to say about them. They've been kind to me, to my family. I love USA. All right. Thank you very much, Fatima. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Thanks for having me. All right. Okay. Uh, we are going on a very, 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 very short break. And when we come back, yes, it will be time to come to you. Stay with us.